computing is called surface computing. This type of interface works especially well for photo sharing, maps, and menus, where browsing on a traditional screen pales in comparison to the detailed, hands-on manipulation people are used to do with paper. You can do things like organize your photos, drag them around, and resize them, and play with them as if they were real photos, real printed photos. And here we even have a little video. Surface computing utilizes multi-touch technology, which is a multi-finger, multi-user interface that has been bouncing around the world of computer science since the 1980s. This is a multi-touch uh, input device, and multi-touch, uh, which generally means multi-point input devices, are about a lot on more than one input uh, to be processed at a time. NYU computer scientist Jeff Hahn builds huge multi-touch displays for corporate and military clients through his company, Perceptive Pixel. In fact, multi-touch is swiftly becoming the hot interface for electronic devices. Multi-touch first of all allows the direct operation. You're actually contacting not to an intermediary, but actually on the graph itself. It's a direct manipulation interface. Two, it means that I can do more than one point at a time. I can actually use two or three, which means I can manipulate more things at a time. For the mouse, you can only manipulate one or two things at a time. But where Microsoft Surface Computer truly gets mind-blowing is how it interacts with other devices. The service computer uses a series of infrared cameras to literally see what is on its tabletop. What we're able to do is also have interaction with objects on the surface. So when we place an object on the surface, the cameras can recognize what that object is and allow us to interact directly with that object that we've just placed on the surface. We see this as a whole new category, a complete new ecosystem for computers. Here we have a wireless camera and a lot of wireless uh, functionality is built into the, the surface computing platform and it's evolving into, into devices such as this camera. So here we're going to take a picture of uh, my colleague Eric Stocky. And we can then just put the camera right on the uh, right on the device and use is that picture, which is I think enormously flattering of our friend That's Eric Sofie, great angle, and, and really really <laughs> blow it up to <laughs> maximum embarrassment. We have a cell phone, and all the wireless linking is going on behind the scenes in the table. So you can take your photo and then just instantly put it on your wireless device and then take it with you. Now you've basically taken two devices and without having to plug them into a computer or sync them up, you've transferred content from one to the other. Although surface computing may eventually find a place in the home, Microsoft initially plans to sell the devices to commercial partners such as T-Mobile,